Lord, hallelujah. My name is Lindsay Saji. I'm 13 years old. I'm currently living in Boston and I go to the St. Stephen's Jacobite Syrian Orthodox Church. And before I begin my speech, I would like to say a sincere thank you to all those who gave me this opportunity to be able to partake in this competition and to give my views about Christmas. The 25th of December is universally known as Christmas Day, a day full of joy and celebration. But what is it really that we should be thinking about on Christmas? We should be thinking about the true meaning behind the reason we celebrate. I know many people celebrate Christmas by spending time with family and giving presents, by singing carols and going out and having fun. And although these are important, we must remember what special event occurred on Christmas Day all those years ago. On the 25th of December, our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ was born. He was brought into this world in humility and laid in a manger in Bethlehem. He was there with his parents and we read in Luke chapter 2 the visit of the shepherds. And I'm now going to read a short passage from verses 10 and 11 and verses 16 to 20. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph, and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as had been told them. We know that God had prophesied before about the coming of his promised one and the coming of a strong soldier that would lead the people of Israel. And these shepherds and all these people had been waiting for the coming of Jesus. And so when the shepherds had heard and seen that the birth of the Messiah, the Lord, was true, they was exalted and praised God, as we must do the same on Christmas Day. And we can read in Matthew chapter 2, the visit of the wise men. I'm now going to read Matthew chapter 2, verses 9 to 11. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now, these gifts that the wise men offered Jesus were no ordinary gifts. They each had a symbol that would represent Jesus' life in the future. The gold represented Jesus' status as his leadership, his, king, his leadership as the king of the Jews. The frankincense represented Jesus' deity, and the myrrh was a reference to Jesus' mortality. A myrrh is also known as a symbol of death. And they came prepared with these gifts because they knew that Jesus was God's promised one. And they believed that Jesus would one day bring peace and healing into this world. And as they believed, we should believe as well. We should believe and remember that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was brought to us because he was going to be the one that would save us. We know the story of Adam and Eve, that they were the ones that first made sin and brought sin into this world. But with the birth of Christ, sin ended, and he crushed sin and took it away, and opened the gates of heaven, enabling us to receive eternal life, and therefore we must be forever grateful. Therefore, I think it is extremely, extremely important that we pray during Advent and Christmas. We must pray and in gratitude and thankfulness to our God for blessing us with a new hope. He blessed us with our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, and without him, we would be lost. Without Jesus, nothing is possible. So we must continue to be grateful and thankful for God blessing us and fulfilling his prophecy that he made to us, and not only to us, but also to our ancestors. And we must also remember a specific word of God that is said in John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, 
so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Indeed, God did not send the Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Now, I think this word of God is extremely important because it states that God so loved the world that he sent his only son. He sacrificed his only son so that our sins may be forgiven. And he gave us his one and only son so that we might be saved through Jesus. And leading up to my last point, we celebrate Christmas and Christmas is so special because not only was it the birth of Christ, but the birth of Christ was what people had been waiting for for many years. All the years before Christ was born, all the people who were following God, they were waiting for Jesus' birth, the coming of the Messiah, the coming of the promised one. And when that day came, when the day of Jesus was born came and our King was born, it helped people to be in relief and they, it helped them to strengthen their faith, as it must help us to do now as well. And that is why Christmas is so important for us. And we must remember that every day. And therefore, I hope you all have a blessed Christmas. Thank you for listening.